Hey, this is Robert, and today I'm going to show you how to apply a chroma key effect of footage in Premiere Pro CS5 to allow you to place your talent in a virtual background. First off, let's go ahead and start Premiere and create a new project. Now let's import the various project video assets. For this project, we have three video assets. There's a green screen talent file, a b-roll footage layer, and a virtual studio layer that we'll use as the virtual backdrop in our final video. So let's import these into Premiere by dragging them into the project asset window. Let's set up a new sequence, go to File, New, Sequence, then choose the resolution that you'd like to work at. Now let's drag the talent layer onto the Video 3 layer. You can see she's a little small in this project, but we'll scale her up in just a bit. Next, let's drag in our backdrop. This can be anything you'd like to use. In this instance, we have a virtual news type background that we'll place behind our talent. This also needs to be scaled down a little bit to fit our workspace, so let me do that first. Go to Effects, then Controls, Motion, and there's a Scale function that you can scale down your layer to fit your project. We're also going to select the Talent layer, scale her up a bit. You can just double click this layer in your Composition window and you can move her around in the composition. Next, we need to key out the green background in our Talent layer to reveal the studio underneath. Do this by going to Effects, Keying, then choose a key effect that works best for you. I like the Ultra Key plugin that came with Premiere. It seems to do a good job of removing the chroma key out of a piece of footage without removing other similar colors in the shot. Select your chroma effect and then drag it onto your talent footage layer. Now in your effects controls, drop down the controls for Ultra Key and there's a key color parameter. Select the eyedropper next to this parameter, then go to the composition window and select the green in your talent footage. This will remove the green or blue in the talent layer. If you're having trouble, you may want to go back and reshoot your footage and make sure to evenly light your backdrop as much as possible. On the studio layer, we also have some green that we'd like to remove so that we can show the b-roll footage underneath the virtual studio. So we do that using the same technique as before. So apply another key to the studio layer. We're going to use Ultra Key in this instance. Go to FX Controls, use the eyedropper tool to select the green in the monitor, and it pops right out. So now take your final B-roll footage and put it on the bottom layer. It will show up inside the screen. The footage right now is too big, needs to be positioned and scaled, so let's select that layer. Go to Motion, Scale, and Scale it down. You can lock the other two layers in your timeline, then you can double click the B-roll footage in your composition window and select it and move it around. Just adjust the position and scale of this layer to get it in place. So basically you can edit your B-roll footage to whatever your talent is talking about on this layer and the monitor will display footage and imagery along with the dialogue of your talent. Once you're finished up, you can render out the movie for web or TV and that's pretty much about it. Thanks for taking the time to look at this tutorial. 